guys, I have a quick tutorial for you today about instrument doubling. Uh, instrument doubling is essentially taking a part and having two or more instruments play it. Doubling instruments is a great way to thicken up an orchestration. The key is finding instruments that complement each other well. I have an example here of a quick composition with a few instances of doubling. I colored each track so that you can easily see which parts are doubled by which instruments. The first pair I want to show you is our pizzicato strings and heart pluck. This is a really great combo. Let's hear each individually. So on its own, the pizzicato voice is really nice. It's warm and articulate. Let's hear the harp sound. Also very nice, not as articulate, but has a, a lot of resonance. When you pair them up, they complement each other really nicely. You get a warm, resonant, and articulate result. I also like to do a little bit of panning to give it a nice stereo effect. Next, let's look at our oboe and glock pair. These voices have the melody for the first section. The oboe has a really nice, clear, sustained tone. And the glock is very articulate. But if you listen to either of these voices without the other, they get a little bit lost in the full mix. Now when we play them together in the full mix, we get great sustain and articulation, and the part really cuts through nicely. Let's look at the bass instruments next. I used three bass instruments for the first four measures. The tuba has a nice clear and steady tone. Adding in the double bass, we get some more presence and body. And lastly, I threw some piano in there for a little bit of articulation. If we listen to the melody, bass, and ostinato together, we hear that there are a couple of windows where there isn't much melodic movement. Uh, I used a xylophone and marcato strings pair for some quick runs to add some interest to that section. Uh, xylophone obviously has great articulation and cuts through pretty much anything, but it's a little dry on its own. Uh, adding the marcato strings gives the xylophone run some more body. If the xylophone is removed, the strings lack clarity at that speed. In the second half of the piece, I replaced the harp with marimba to change things up, and I also took piano from being part of the bass instruments and made it part of the ostinato. I did that because this section, the bass pretty much just consists of long tones and doesn't need that extra articulation, and when you add piano to these two instruments, it sounds very nice. Let's hear the marimba by itself. Now marimba and strings. And 
than all three. In this section, I had the violin take over the melody. Let's hear that on its own. Violin is very distinctive. It's probably fine by itself, but I added some flute to smooth out the sound a little bit. Let's hear the flute on its own. Now together with the violin. And then lastly, I added some vibraphone to give each note a little bit more impact. Let's hear those vibes. And now all three. I added an ostinato to this section. I used marcato strings and muted staccato trumpets, which make a very crisp combination. Uh, the trumpets on their own have a unique sound. Let's hear those. And now let's add the strings. Let's go back to the first section real quick and look over these last pairings. I have some chorus ums and clarinets for a pad sustain. The clarinets have a slightly nasal and very steady tone. Uh, let's hear those. And the chorus is a little more open, but a little grittier. Put those together and it has a very nice uh, complementary effect. And then I also put in some staccato and hairpinning eighth notes. I used bassoon and horns, both staccato voices. Uh, let's hear how these sound. Now the horns. Now let's hear those together. And then all four. So the things we talked about today are clearly just a few examples of instrument doubling, and this was only one genre. You can do instrument doubling in all genres of compositions. Uh, there are tons of great combinations out there. Just experiment and make sounds you like. There are no wrong answers. I hope this video was informative. Feel free to ask me any questions you have in the comments, and thank you for watching. Oh,